This is NASCAR Newscast Weekend Preview Edition. The NASCAR Spring Cup Series heads to the Windy City as the race to the chase moves to Chicagoland Speedway for Saturday night's LifeLock.com 400. It will mark the eighth time NASCAR has competed at the Joliet, Illinois 1.5 mile speedway, but the first time under the lights. And Roush Fenway racing driver Carl Edwards is looking forward to it. Racing in uh, Chicago under the lights is going to be a little bit different. Usually that's real slick, you know, and it turns into a you know, real handling deal and uh, you know, it's hard to get grip, but I'm, I'm curious to see how it is under the lights. It'll, it'll probably be a little faster. It'll be pretty exciting. That's a you know, night races like that on big tracks are pretty fun. Kansas native Clint Boyer compares Chicagoland to his home track, the Kansas Speedway, where the series will compete in September, and the Richard Childress racing driver believes a good run this weekend will translate to success once the chase for the Sprint Cup kicks off in the fall. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, Chicago's, it's kind of a sister track to my home track in Kansas, and um, you know, the way I look at Chicago, if I can run good at Chicago, chances are I'll run, I'll run well at, back home in Kansas, so uh, that's an important racetrack for me. Matt Kenseth, who has finished second on two occasions at Chicagoland, leads the drivers to watch on Saturday night based on NASCAR's Loop Data driver rating system. Kenseth's 126.2 driver rating, which is based on a number of factors listed here, is tops among all drivers over the past three races at the 1.5 mile track. Two-time Chicago winner Kevin Harvick is second in the driver ratings and has the best overall average finish of eight in the seven races contested there. Tony Stewart is the defending Chicagoland race winner. And Kyle Busch, fresh off his win at Daytona last Saturday night, brings a 182-point advantage over Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the Spring Cup Series point standings in the Saturday night's race. This is NASCAR Newscast.